Chapter 14. Harry is antsy for more bloodshed, obviously, and transmogrification class isn't helping. Today's lesson, turning shit into cups. And just like a myriad of other Hogwarts lessons, it is almost totally devoid of any real-world functionality. But Hardcastle McCormick will be tolerating no fucks, thank you very much. Ronnie the Bear has been selected to demonstrate, but his wand is broken, and Harry can't help but join the class in a most boyish giggle. Broken wand aside, though, isn't it a bit ethically unsound to be transforming animals into inanimate objects? This is a kind of killing, Harmony protests. I know you can just change it back into a rat whenever, but where do their little souls go when they're cups? No disrespect, Hardcastle, but how about you tell us what the fuck the Chamber of Secrets is instead? Yeah, all right. Hardcastle sighs. Basically, the story of the Chamber of Secrets dates back to the genesis of Hogwarts itself and deals largely with the school's four founders. Goddard Gryffindor, Salvador Slytherin, Helena Hufferpuffer, and Sumner M. Redstone, executive chairman of Viacom, who was involved in a more monetary capacity. You know, he provided a lot of the financial backing so that the other three could spend all their time getting high on the turrets and boning. It was the summer of love, though, and a pretty thrilling time to be a magical person. Not surprisingly, Gryffindor and Hufferpuffer became romantically linked, but Helena Hufferpuffer, despite being a bodacious fox, was also a glacier-hearted ice princess, and with her perfect claws, she dismembered the beautiful friendship that existed between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Spurned by the huff, Slytherin yielded to the throes of a horny depression and built a secret chamber for all the baddies to chill inside of. Valmart was there, you can bet, as were a couple, couple of werewolves and some hipster ghosts. They called this secret chamber the Chamber of Secrets, which was pretty weak for a poetry major. Anyway, long story short, Slytherin murdered Goddard Gryffindor and then fled the country, but before he left, he told all his evil homies that only the true heir of Slytherin would be able to reopen the Chamber of Secrets and awaken the sleeping monster that dwells within. How do I know all this, you ask? Well, because Helena Hufferpuffer is me. I am Helena Hufferpuffer, and Salvador Slytherin is, uh, is Mouth Oil's dad. We, we both changed our names to protect our identities. Harry, Harmony, and the bear race down the hall, discussing the knowledge bomb that has just detonated between each of their ears. Well, this seems like kind of a no-brainer, says Harry. It certainly does, says Harmony. Mouth Oil's dad is Slytherin. So that means that Mouth Oil, says Ronnie, is, quite literally, the heir of Slytherin, yes, says Harmony. And if we don't kill him soon, says the bear, which, frankly, says Harmony, should be pretty easy to do. He and that monster, says Harry, are going to kill us and everyone else in the school. So let's fucking do it, says Ronnie. Now's our chance. Let's kill Mouth Oil right now. Well, says the wretched Harmony, I don't know. What the dick, Harmony? I know, I know, she says, but I have an even more convoluted idea. 